Pat Morita. Mr. Pat Morita. Oh, yeah. Pat Morita, ladies and gentlemen. Lenny Bruce's mother named him the hip nip, but he hung on because now all of a sudden he had an angle. He would tend to do the same show over again. <laughs> And then he couldn't figure out why he wasn't getting laughs. I don't think he paid much attention to the rules of the game. You know, he kind of did what he wanted to do. He really embraced the things that many of us run away from. He, he ran to it. He opened for Victor Moan, Connie Stevens, and uh, Red Fox, who put him on his show. He was just a lovely, lovely man. Pat went on and became a huge star. And he created one of the iconic characters in American cinema. One thing I learned with comics is they were actually some of the most unhappy, tortured people, and their comedy comes from pain. I mean, he was in a cast for like nine years, from his knees to like his neck for his childhood. The day he gets out, he walks into a war. He had a lot of inner demons. He struggled a lot with depression, and he was drinking too much. He was doing too much drugs. He was drinking so much that I went to the line producer and said, I'm scared to death he's going to fall off a cliff. And he was stumbling and, and he fell flat on his face. That was when it really, really hit home and he realized, I've got a big problem. That entire chapter of my life changed me forever. 